Good evening, Americans. It's the Mark Bradley Show. I, of course, am your host, Mark Bradley, broadcasting every Monday through Thursday night from my home in Lewiston, Idaho. Thanks for watching. Tonight, it's a little more on Michael Jackson and the unending coverage of his memorial service, and more on the media and what's wrong with the media. Or is it? We'll see. Coming up. First, uh, Sheila Jackson Lee, Congresswoman from the 18th District of Texas. Uh, presented at Michael Jackson Memorial Service today, H.R. 600, to honor Michael Jackson, and I quote, as an American legend and a musical icon, a world humanitarian, someone who will be honored forever and forever and forever and forever and forever. That was enough forevers, I think. Um, that video of, of the congressman speaking is at MSN, msnbc.com. You can check that out if you so desire. And this is this is extremely frustrating to me that we can't get coverage on the TV news of the truth about Honduras. We can't get coverage of anything going on in Iran. We can't get coverage of the bombings overseas. Have you seen anything about the embassy bombings? No, of course not. Unless you watch some real news. If you found some somewhere, that'd be great. Let me know, please. Not to mention this morning... I heard uh, an NPR Morning Edition piece by uh, April Fulton, where she said, in a uh, in a little piece, explaining public health care, and I, I guess the whole point of the piece was to explain what um, what the public option means. That was her the intent. Now I'm up, sort of apologizing for President Obama in some way. I. I didn't quite understand why uh, the news needs to be explaining the president's bills, but it wasn't so much the fact that that the news explained why we should have public health care, but how she did it. And I would love if you would go check that out. That's at NPR.com. It's the morning edition piece. She said towards the opening of the piece that President Obama wants everyone to get to Healthyville. And she went on to compare health care to air travel in terms that sounded like they were intended for 10-year-olds. And it, you know, it, was, it was quite amusing, actually, to listen to her, in, in my opinion, make a fool of herself by trying to explain to full-grown adults that you know some airlines give lots of in-flight amenities, give, give things like hot meals and towels and TVs in the seats and some airlines don't and if you if, if we had a government airline that everybody could fly on even if they didn't have the money well it wouldn't have the TVs and it wouldn't have the fancy meals but everybody would get to Healthyville it was pathetic thank you very much that's my opinion you can tell me yours if you, if you want to that's markbradleyshow at gmail.com is the email for the show um, this is this is I think a symptom of the problem. The media in America is a problem in itself, but it, more so, it's a symptom of a bigger problem. What's the bigger problem? The bigger problem is the American people. What? Yes, I said that. It's the American people. Am I saying that the American people are bad and, and ignorant and lazy? No. However, the American people have been and sometimes act poorly and ignorant and lazy and seem to feast on celebrity gossip instead of truth and real um, and the real issues in America. There, there was non-stop news coverage on MSNBC of the Michael Jackson Memorial Service from pre-memorial service all the way through the end and we're watching uh, well, I can't say we were watching. Um, I was under a kitchen sink cabinet at some folks' houses. They were watching. The reporters talk about the cars driving away from the Staples Center in Los Angeles where the memorial was held. It was pathetic. And how they deified Michael Jackson, who was a popular musician and dancer and performer. But i got to ask, would they have done anything like this on TV for... 
say, a president who died? What about a war hero? And that's what America has sunk to. And it's not the TV's fault. It's the people's fault. Because if people didn't watch it, the TV wouldn't play it. They put on television what people will watch. Ratings, ratings, ratings. It's very capitalistic. That's all they want. they got to get ratings. Because that's how they make their money. And if it gets ratings, that's what they put on there. And how do they get ratings? By you watching it. So, I believe that we need to start from uh, to start from the beginning. Parents need to take time with their kids to talk about politics. I mean, in a in a recent survey done by uh, the Constitution Center, they found that more people knew the names of the Three Stooges than knew the three branches of government, and the numbers were astonishing as to how little people know about the government of our country. And it's no wonder that we elect such pathetic leaders when we don't know anything about our government. We don't know how it works or why it's supposed to work that way or how it has changed over the years. We need to start by taking our kids and teaching them and working with them and comparing current political events to what the founders did in the past during the writing of the Constitution and saying the founders wrote the Constitution to prevent exactly what's happening today or the founders wrote the Constitution so that we could have this freedom that we enjoy today and that will resonate with kids if they understand that the freedoms and that the fact that um, all the toys that we enjoy are because of the amazing growth that has happened in America because of the environment created by our Constitution and by our leaders of the past. Their honor should be much greater than that for a simple singer of songs. That's my opinion. Thanks for watching The Mark Bradley Show. We'll be back tomorrow, and you have a great night.